Good morning and welcome. How's Brady today? Good, wonderful. You must be Patrick. And the mother is Sandy. Good, wonderful. And welcome to the family, to the family of St. John Vianney. We are glad to celebrate his first communion today. And so let's pray together. Hmm? And as I come to distribute communion, I'll be wearing the mask, but no gloves. So let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. God is good all the time, and he loves us. And God is always in touch with us. And when we don't pay attention, that is when he tries to get our attention by sending messages our way through messengers. And today we celebrate one such messenger, John the Baptist. And so let's pause for a while and thank the Lord for this unconditional love of his, for his love that is always there. As they say, the sun only shines and God only loves. And so we pray, Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who raised up St. John the Baptist to make ready a nation fit for the Lord, give your people, we pray, the grace of spiritual joys and direct the hearts of all the faithful into the way of salvation and peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated as we listen to A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O coastlands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth, and from my mother's womb, he gave me my name, me a sharp-edged sword. He made me and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver, he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me. Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly, spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord. My recompense is with God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him, and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial is, I praise you for I am wonderfully made. I praise, I praise you, you for, for I am wonderfully, wonderfully made. made. 
O oh Lord, you probed me, you know me. You know when I sit and I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar. My journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways you are familiar. I praise you for I am wonderfully made. Truly you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. I Uncouth, praise you, for I am wonderfully, wonderfully made. made. My soul also you knew full well, nor was my frame unknown to you. When I was made in secret, <clears throat> when I was fashioned in the depths of the earth, I praise you, for I am wonderfully made. Alleluia, alleluia. You, child, will be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name, and all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was open, his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all his neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, what then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the desert until the day of his manifestation to Israel. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers, today we celebrate St. John the Baptist, the cousin of Christ, the precursor, the one who would come to announce the coming of the Messiah. It is interesting to note how John the Baptist knows exactly what he is and more so what he is not. And he knows fully, and he is aware all the time, that his life may be his, but it is not about him, that it is about the Christ, the Messiah. And so there he is, doing what he needs to do with love for the Messiah. All the time aware that he is merely the container that the Christ is the Messiah, that the Messiah is the contents. He knows 
that he is merely a means to an end. His life may be his, but it is not about him, and so it is about the Christ. Notice that this man is from a priestly class, and he knows the temple and the language of the temple. And he is a prophet. He has his own distinctive message of repentance. And he has his own ritual. And there is this mass following that he has. And the scripture would tell us that even King Herod is afraid of him. And yet, when the Messiah shows up and comes onto the scene, he would give up his message. He would stop baptizing people and he would even disband his followers and say, go, follow him. He is the one that you need to follow. And his pointing to the Messiah is so very generous an act that he would say, he must increase and I must decrease. And so notice how you have John the Baptist, a very strong person, a happy combination or a strange combination of conviction and humility, of morality and mysticism, of radical prophecy, and yet living in the here and now. He knows that his life is his, but it's not about him, it is about God. And that is why he would say, I'm not worthy even to undie his sandals because the one who comes after me is greater than I. And that is how with acts of humility and self-abnegation, he would reach a point where he is able to present his own head on a platter, the letting go of ego, something that all of us struggle with, something that I struggle with day after day after day. Somebody rubs me on the wrong side, they get it. Because I'm filled with myself. And that is where John the Baptist comes as an example, as a model, as a light for our steps. He must increase and I must decrease. Because my life may be mine, but it is not about me, it is about God. Words that sound familiar. The mother would say, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done unto me according to your word. Or Jesus in the garden would say, Not my will, let your will be done. The way John the Baptist would go, that is the way anyone can go to God. for the repose of the soul of Taran Sivas. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual food. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, may we share Christ's divinity who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Let's rise and pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We place these offerings on your altar, O Lord, 
to celebrate with fitting honor the nativity of him who both foretold the coming of the world's savior and printed him out, pointed him out when he came, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise your great glory, for you consecrated him for a singular honor among those born of women. His birth brought great rejoicing even in the womb, he leaped for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth. And before your majesty without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. And all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, his ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit 
may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles, with St. Joseph, the spouse of Mary, with John the Baptist, St. John Vianney, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for your help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop, the Order of Bishops and all the clergy and your entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed sisters and brothers, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, we pray especially for Taran Sivas, give kind admittance to your kingdom. May we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. I'm aware that your family and friends are supporting you from their homes. You may want to say hi to them. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Today we celebrate St. John the Baptist's birth, and these are his words. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
ready, the body of Christ. And the, the body of Christ. Patrick, the body of Christ. 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 Let's pause for a while to engage in spiritual communion. There are many that are participating in this Eucharist from their homes, unable to be present in person. And I make this prayer on their behalf. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and above all persons. And we desire to receive you into our soul. Since some of us cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into our heart. We embrace you as you come to us and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our congratulations to the family, to Brady in particular. May God be with you. Good. Would you like to come up for a photograph, please? <laughs>